Welcome to the demo scene for the items module from Infinity PBR. So like our other modules, this is a very flexible um, system for creating and managing items. In this case, we're going to set up a new one. I'm going to just show, start by showing you how to set up a new one, and then we'll get right into the nitty gritty about how it works. We're just going to call this test for now. Open up that folder that you just created. Right click, create game modules, create and items. And I'll just keep that name design. So now you can see we've got some options here when we select, select the scriptable object. We have our items, we have prefixes and suffixes. And you can think of an item as, let's say, a sword as an example. And a prefix is a word that can go before that might modify the sword. And the suffix is a word that comes afterwards. For instance, you might have a magical sword of fire. So magical would be a prefix. And we'll just add that now. And sword would be a uh, item. So we're going to say sword and add that now. And then of fire. So let's have of fire as a suffix. Now let's check out the items. The item itself, we can expand that. We can delete it, of course, or rename it if we need to. And we've got a few options here. We have values. If you have the stats and skills module installed in the same project, then this will showcase more. And I'm going to show that in just a second. We also have the prefixes. So now, uh, if you have a list of prefixes, and let's just add a couple more. Um, Mighty, we'll call one, and we'll call one golden. I'll spell it correctly. And ancient, just a few prefixes there. If we go back to our item, we've got options on what prefixes, the intent here is what prefixes can and can't work on this um, object. Now you don't have to use it in this way, you can use it different ways. It's very flexible in that regard. You can choose all prefixes, which will just add all prefixes. And then if we add a new one, such as um, holy, and it will be added because all prefixes are selected. You can select no, in case you don't even have the option to add a prefix. If you unselect that though, you can add a specific, um, prefixes here, or you can even add to all. So if you had um, multiple items, then you could add to all. And so if we showcase that, uh, we'll create a dagger as well. And so now when we um, have our prefixes, you can say add to all and, uh, well, those are already added, but magical and mighty added to all. We can also copy and paste these. So if I have a specific group of prefixes, I can copy the selections and paste those into other ones or um, undo that, paste into all and it will paste into all. So you can, you know, if you want all, you can just copy and then paste into all. And now every item you have can accept all prefixes. Similar for the suffixes, you've got uh, the ability to add all um, suffixes, etc. If you hold down alt or option on any of these, it will uh, select all of these. So, and you can toggle um, all as well. It's just a helpful tip there. So these are the items and you can see where, where you, that might come use and useful, just setting up those items. You also have dictionaries. Now, again, dictionaries are something that requires the dictionaries module. If it is in the project, however, it expands this module and allows for new functionality. So I'm gonna show you that now in this other project. So let's go and load up the demos for the items. Uh, this is where I load up the demo items here. Let me just close all these and close all these and close all these. All right, so let's check out first the dictionaries. If you open up the dictionaries module, now that dictionaries is installed, we have got these different uh, types of dictionaries. These are not traditional dictionaries. These are special types of dictionaries that are serializable and they act very similarly, similarly to dictionaries. They're key value pairs. And you can set up different um, values here. So let's do a demo float value and we'll default it to 1.5 and add that. Uh, and now let's say that it can attach itself to only a prefix and a suffix, um, similar to value mod. So if we go over to our prefixes and we expand one out, we'll find our demo float here with a value of 1.5. Now uh, it was valued 1.5 as the default uh, but I can now change this to whatever value I, I want and the suffix similarly will have the value there and I can change it to whatever float value I want. You can see how that might work with the value mod. For instance, this chain armor might be valued at 50, but then if it's a chain, if it's a ancient chain armor, then perhaps the value mod will be uh, two. So it would be worth twice as much or 
you know, in my game that I'm working on, uh, a value mod of 0.5 would mean it's 50% more valuable than 50. So now it's be worth 75 instead of 50. But that's some code that you'd end up doing on your own for your project because every project is different. And that's why these are intermediate level uh, and above modules because while uh, this does all the management for you, how you link it up in your game is gonna be completely up to you. The flexibility is built in though, so you can do it as you see fit. So I'm gonna just again, close out or not close, I'm gonna remove this um, custom float there. And you've got all these different options here so you can um, expand the items, prefixes and suffixes however you need. For instance, in the items we've got, is this a quest item, etc. Another new thing is the item types. You'll notice that they're already select, uh, organized into item types. I can expand that and you can see all these different types here. So I can do a new one, let's say craftable. And we'll add that as a new type. And then if I wanna, I'm gonna collapse this. I'm gonna create a new thing. What's gonna call this a red flower. Maybe a red flower is craftable. I'm gonna add that there and you can see they're organized now in different ways. If I want to change this, I could just change this to be an item instead. And it's so we're gonna reorder so now red flowers an item. But be craftable for instance. So it's a different way of organizing the items. So it's a little easier if you have a whole lot of items that might be easier this way to um, organize. And of course you can change the name too. So if uh, we could say armor just as a test, we'll change it to armor two, and then you can change it back. So that is easy there. So you can um, work with that as well. And then the last thing, if we expand the um, values, we have the integration with the stats and skills. So anything in our stats and skills module that we've set up, in this case, all these different uh, base values, values per skill point or level are added here. So as a real world example, you've got chain armor and I might want chain armor to beef up my armor class. So I'm gonna search for armor class right here, add base. And we're going to say the base value for chain armor is going to be two. And so it has a base, an armor class of, um, of two. So let me expand all of these here and we'll do the same thing for these other armors. Maybe leather gives you one and plate armor gives you four. And now again, how you use this in your game is completely up to you. But now the item chain armor has a base value for armor class attached to it. So you can more easily combine the armor class from multiple equipped items with other items and other stats from the uh, race or the class of the character. Or in the future, perhaps you'd add a modification such as uh, spell effects or um, uh, status effects like poisoned or whatnot, different buffs. And you can add those together to get a final value. So this is the items um, module. And there's a lot you can do with it. There's certainly a lot of different options here. Um, and I think it could be a little um, daunting at first, but once you get the hang of it, uh, how these all link together, it would make a lot of sense. And I think you're gonna really enjoy using these modules together in order to uh, populate your game. Just to go a little bit further with the chain armor and the armor uh, here, the prefixes also have these same options for um, value. So if we take something like, um, not ancient, let's do damaging. Um, not to, let's do magical. That's a good one. Um, so maybe our value mod, uh, if we go to the values, now when we equip something that's magical, our um, magic points, uh, let's look for magic points maximum. Here we go. We can add that. Maybe our magic points go up by 10. And then maybe in my game, uh, 0.1 would be a 10% boost. So now you're going to get 10 extra points plus a 10% boost to your magic points max whenever you equip a um, magical item. So for instance, a magical chain armor would allow you to have not only the values from here, armor class of four, but also magic points of 10 and a 10% boost. And then similarly, if you have um, of the 
gods or something, you could say, okay, well, now per every level, we're going to have your luck increased and your might increased and your personality increased and your accuracy and your speed and your stamina and not clear those out to zero. But let's say that for every single level you have, you're going to get a 1% boost to all of these stats. I think I'm missing one here. Wisdom. Yeah, let's do wisdom as well. Whoops. So now this means that if I have an item in the game, again, let's say chain armor, let's say it's a, um, a magical chain armor of the gods, then you're going to see an increase of 4 to my armor class. You're going to see an increase of 10 plus 10% 10 to my magic points max. And because of, of the gods, for every level my player is, you're going to see an increase of 1% for all of their base stats. So that's how you can link all of these together in, in interesting ways. Um, and create a lot of uh, variety in your game and more easily manage the values of different things. Um, that happen with the with the items in your game so there you go that is the items module uh, please like and subscribe this video join us on discord ask questions let us know what what you think what you're looking for how we can improve things always looking to improve things um, always looking to add new modules that might make your life easier um, please do uh, like and subscribe on twitch if you're watching on twitch and i'll see you later have a great day and that was the demo scene video for the items. So I see a few people in the in the Twitch stream. If you have any questions, do let me know. Um, here to answer anything. This new uh, dictionaries module and the items module are not yet released. They should be out soon. Uh, they are finished. Uh, V2. I'm calling them V2 to keep version lock on all the different modules. And stat and skills is also updated now as well. I've already made the demo scene for. For this update but um for those of you who are familiar with it there's a couple of new things the biggest things are that there are now the types as well similarly to the uh items you've got different types and that can be organized so our base stats here are there and main stats these are stats that maybe um are just the main stats like level and armor class and then skills for armors just generic skills skills for weapons and skills for magic this is something that i'd be using in my game you might not even have a fantasy game. Who knows how you would use this, but there's certainly a lot of ways you can use this. Um, and then you also have the dictionaries now as well. So just like the items, uh, the dictionaries, we've got these eight different types right now. You can add new uh, key value pairs. Um, one way of uh, real world example of how you might use this, if you load up prefabs, you could say default um, or starting item. Oops. Uh, called that and then I'm going to clear this so we don't have a default I just select none here and add that so now all of these will have a starting item now in my game uh, there are some base skills you can learn like these weapon skills and some of them um, can be taught early in the in the game so like the class um, if we load up the archer um, learnable skills uh, oh base skills um, I would add um, bow here and then this is something that the character can learn at the character creation scene so the players can choose that and what I will be doing is for bow I will open my dictionaries and I will select here a starting item now this is just the demo but imagine that this is going to be the bow prefab um, you know, um, so maybe that's the prefab that I uh, instantiate when um, that's that is equipped. But actually, for my game, I'm not going to use the bow prefab because I've got the um, uh, uh, um, the prefab management script for the characters. Uh, I'm not going to need to do that. Instead, I'm going to need it to be a string. So I can go back to my dictionaries here and actually remove this, and then go to my strings and say. Uh, add a new one. We're going to say starting item and keep it blank and go back to my bow. And now there's a new starting item under strings and I'll call this uh, sm uh, short bow. So now the short bow will be the equipped. Now how, uh, as with all the modules, how this actually gets used in a project, entirely up to you. The module system does not care how you use it. 
all this does is set up so that there's now a key value pair starting item that's populated with short bow. So I can look up, hey, I just equipped the, uh, the skill in the, my character creation scene. I just got this skill bow. Is there a starting item? And if there is a starting item, get that value and then I'll call that value and um, use it into the prefab manager to call up the bow prefab into the character so you can see it visually. I might also add it to my um, items list so you know in my inventory management system that I've got for my game I know I have a short bow installed. There's a lot you can do there. What you do after you set this up completely up to you. This module doesn't hold you to anything really it, it, it's flexible enough that you can use it in all sorts of different ways and really I, I urge people to think a, a little creatively because there's a lot more you can do with uh, the stats or skills than than you might realize I think um, you can utilize it in, in a lot of different ways especially the dictionaries um, uh, scripts here with where with different uh, uh, dictionaries so there's a lot you can do here and um, I definitely urge you to check it out uh, we're going to keep working on these modules. We're going to keep improving them. But definitely let us know on the Discord what you like, what you need, what we can improve.